happy weekend to you guys welcome back to don's graphics where today we are going to be looking at how to create a business flyer on your pixel app application this if you are yet to subscribe to our channel kindly click the subscription button so that you'll be notified when we put new content now without wasting much of your time i would love us to begin working right away and uh, what we're going to do here is to delete this text so that we can begin preparing our background so i'm going to delete the text and the next thing i want to do is to click on these three dots to set the design size so i will come here to image size to set my design size remember this size will reflect the size of your final work so you have to be very careful here so the size i want us to use is a four by five size all right so this is the size it's a four by five size once you achieve this you can just click ok to continue now after having this the next thing i want us to do is to uh, click on this middle button to import some elements and i must mention here that this design is for a lot a laundry it's a laundry design so i have already with me some important laundry elements just like this one that you can see so i'm just going to import this into the design And you know just try to position it like so once you have this just go to your layer button and lock it up so that it cannot interrupt uh, when we're bringing in other important uh, elements for the design once you have this i would love you to click on uh, the background setting to change the background color now to pure white so we want to have a pure white so that at least this image can blend with the background but it's not yet blended so we are going to create some multiple gradient effects to make the image blend well with the background so the next thing we want to do is to click on this middle button then you choose a shape after choosing a, a shape just make the shape like this then you go down to gradient so we are going to create a gradient for this a fading gradient because one this uh, element to blend with our background so we want to create some fading now click on this plus button and select this color so you have you have to click here first of all click here and click here to create your gradient effect and reduce the opacity completely to zero the opacity should be zero and click ok and once you have this just make sure that it's like this and you have to come here to click but this horizontal gradient pattern choose the first gradient pattern and once you choose it i will still want one that you should click here on this uh, swap button because we want the black to swap all right this is good now click ok and as you can see we have created a gradient successfully so all you need to do now is just to size it up and you know just try to play with it but don't go yet still click back on the plus button oh my god so let's edit this back click back on the plus button and what you're going to do now is to push this towards the the right okay then you can click okay and click on the check mark okay so it should be something like this then go to color change the color completely to white so that we can have a white can you see now how the image is trying to blend with the background okay that's fine so we just make sure that everything is fine you can now copy this gradient that you have created and what you are going to do is to rotate it rotate it and place it down here okay perfect now go to layer and lock all of them up everything should be locked up good so somehow we have managed to blend the image with the background and the next thing i want us to do now is to bring in the other elements for this design so we're going to click on import and the first image i want to bring is the image of this laundry woman so i work this image on my photo room application I'm just going to bring the lady and position it carefully 
like this now go to layer and lock it up as well then you click on shapes select a new shape position it like this we are going to position the shape like this then come to color click on the plus button i want you to click on the plus button because we are going to sample the color from the lady from the dress of the lady so just click here on the color picker option and click on the layer hosting the, the lady then you can push this take the color color picker button to the jean the blue jean of the lady always check here on the color monitor to see which color this color picker has chosen so we are satisfied with this blue this dark blue i'm just going to click ok and perfect we have this so click back on it increase the radius of the shape can you see what is happening let's just leave it by 30 but then you have to increase the shape the size of the shape then position it like this So let's increase it a bit once again. So as we are positioning it, make sure that the curve end here should be showing because that is actually the portion of the shape that we want. So let's increase it further. And you can place it like this. Now click on the check mark. okay good so you can click now on your check mark then go to the the layer button click on the image of the lady and try to push it up a bit so we need to send this up a bit okay fine good so the next thing that we need to do is to lock this shape as well and if you look at this portion of the background is too obvious we need to add some distractions there because when the background is just black like this it's not nice so we're going to click on stickers and i have this sticker just increase the size of the sticker make it like this then bring it here and guys don't click on this check mark the, the sticker will not apply so just tap back your hand your finger on the screen and you have your sticker now go to color and give it the same blue color this color then you can increase the size and just you know try to make it occupy this portion of the background so that we can have some distractions there good now send it to the go to layer and send it to the back of the lady so it should fall to the back of the lady fine and you make sure that you've locked it up so after locking it up the next thing that we need to do is to click back again on sticker so that i have this then what you're going to do is to go to color enable your color and choose this particular color can you see what is happening just position it yeah, because we also want to make the color of this shape look like somewhat a gradient so you can copy this and just try to position it copy good so that we have something like this then go to layer and make sure that you have locked all of them up good now let's bring in another element and uh, please as you follow the tutorial be sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing content so i'm going to bring in this element remember it's a laundry design so we need to bring in elements that are for laundry so just increase the size a little bit and position it here like this and we're going to bring in also uh, a laundry machine. 
then we reduce the size and position it here but then go to your layer and send it to the back of the lady so it should fall to the back of the lady and you can also lock it up so i'm going to lock everything up so that we don't have any uh, distractions now i want you to go to shapes so click on shapes and as you click on shapes choose a, a, a white circle and position it carefully like this and as you position it copy it as you can see then click on edit and reduce the opacity to zero but then go to the stroke give it a stroke width of about 30 and change the color of the stroke into something like this so that we can have the shape looking this way and what you are going to do is just to reduce the size of this shape carefully so we can even use our relative size to reduce the size to about 30. now use your position to make sure that the shape lies on the middle of the first shape exactly like this good so we are going to bring in another element then now we need to bring in the iron element so one of the services performed by this cleaning house is they do ironing as well so that's why we are bringing in the iron element actually already prepared all the materials so it's always good to prepare materials before you start designing so i'm just going to reduce the size like this then you click on layer click on layer here <coughs> sorry about that guys so click on layer <coughs> and send it to in between the first circle and the second circle can you see this between the first and the second circle good then you make sure that you also lock it up because we don't want uh, distractions so let's push the iron element oh my god let's adjust the iron element should be like this okay fine now it's time for us to start bringing in the necessary text for this design so we can conclude so the first thing i want us to bring is uh, first of all the logo so it's solid cleaning services i have their logo here with me i'm just going i already designed this logo on my pixel app i shall share the tutorial for it some other time so we can place the logo here solid cleaners okay good now then the next thing that we need to do is to mention their services so i'm just going to click on text and put our services so what are the services that they offer and we're just going to give this a yellow color Please don't forget to like, comment, and share this particular tutorial to some of your friends who are also graphic designers. Now let's change the color of this into something much more appropriate. The font, sorry. I'm going to use Rockford Sands and reduce the size. So use relative position to tack it to tack it to the middle and position it like this now what are the services we're going to add new text and the services that they perform is they do cleaning they also do drying all right so they, they as well they do ironing 
and uh, they do folding so these are just a few of the services performed by them so we're going to change the color of this to white then go to the font and use any other interesting font that we can see here or just maintain the Roxford sand since we don't want more troubles and uh, we can reduce the size of this let's check the size the size the size it should be just about 30 and you can push it up a bit so these are their services then use relative position to tack it to the middle now guys we are going to copy these are uh, services so just click on it and double tap to put for inquiries so if they want to inquire if they are customers go for inquiries and uh, we're going to position it here as well let's check the size this is 40 so this one 40 as well okay everything is balanced now you can click on the relative position to tack it to the middle of your work now we're going to bring in the action buttons that are necessary for getting in touch so I have a, a host of them with me the call icon and the rest so I have this okay so let's change the color to white and even reduce the size further so we can leave the size to just about four then we we'll use our position to you know try to align everything like this so we can also send this down a bit then we're going to copy this just to maintain the same font and we're going to put the number six so it's a Cameroon number plus two three seven six fifty okay fine now let's reduce the size to just about 25 and you can use your position to make sure that it aligns perfectly well now let's bring in the next uh, call to action button which is like their email address so there are some customers that want to send mail they can also do so they can as well do so let's reduce the size to about four or so and use your position as usual to make sure that the elements respect the principle of alignment you can always use your position, your position button to do this adjust and this adjustment so i'm going to copy this and write the mail address so it's a solid cleaners solid cleaners at gmail.com so this is their like their email address and we're going to position it here now the next thing that we need to do is to bring in the location so i'm going to bring in the location icon And I have it right here with me so I'm going to change the color to white let's reduce the icon size to just about five and use your position to place it on the middle then you can copy this to write the address so the address 
is my two limbe. My two limbe is actually in Cameroon. So my two limbe. Opposite Grace Academy. Street two. So this is the address. We're going to leave it like this. Okay. So guys, with this, we can say it's a wrap on our easy and simple beginners laundry flyer, business flyer design on your pixel app application. I believe we all learn one or two things. I'm going to give a thumbs up to this particular tutorial and as you go, subscribe to the channel for more helpful content. We love you all. Stay blessed.